boards. Welcome everyone to Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part of course of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before that national championship game. And today we're going to find out who's got the toughness and the depth to continue their drive and keep championship dreams alive. As we'll see the number five seed in this playoff, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on the top seeded team in the playoff. Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Street, and here we go. The college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? to get cranked up for the semi-final collision. Fielded in the end zone. It's Prentice. And he's brought down at the 12. Hey, no way. The boys got me in the... I got it. I put wide out. They got us in the same fucking... <laughs> you can't... You feel? I'm about to say the same shit. <laughs> Break it out with this pig. Regular game in there. Regular clothes. This is, this is, ooh, let's go. Shit. Fuck it, I'm gonna just pick the same clothes. <laughs> I ain't fucking with shit.
Welcome everyone to Arlington, Texas at AT&T Stadium, the site of this year's Goodyear Cotton Bowl, part of course of the college football playoff. <laughs> Can't skip because they, they... <laughs> One last hurdle to clear before the national championship game. We'll find out here today which side has the toughness and the depth to keep driving toward that ultimate goal, the chance to raise that gold trophy over their heads. Yeah, say, you sound clear now, so she ain't hoping they let the ball. The Florida State Seminoles taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Curbstreet. It's been a tremendous college football playoff so far, and it's down to this, the semifinals. Which team will head on to the national championship game? It is a uh, Dallas Stadium. Bring it out. It's Holmes. Tackled at the 14. Not very good for you. Cowboys. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Secondary up now, trying to jam these receivers. They're going to run it. They will tackle him out across the 20. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. <laughs> Looking for some space. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. The Knowles pick up enough yardage for a first down. Good push up front and great acceleration by this back. I tell you, he's doing a pretty good impression right now of a combination of greats that they've had at Florida State. Guys like Warwick Dunn and Devontae Freeman, and more recently with guys like Cam Akers and Dalvin Cook. Makes the catch. It's Brown. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Another great throw by this quarterback to be able to pick up a first down and keep this drive alive. I think he's kind of Straight. like he's getting into a zone. Boy, Chris, over the years, how many Ooh, first days have you been? Junior steps hey. up and makes an impact play. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. That sack sets up a second down and very long. Here's a handoff on a counter. Trucks through the defense. Look at that. He's still Damn. <laughs> That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. Boy, second and forever. And this defense is, of course, expecting a pass, but give the play call a lot of credit here. Running the football, catching the defense off guard. A nice Look at that. Run, Look how that pass is picked off. He's got some room and some blockers here. Brought down after a short return, but the interception gives the offense the football at the 40. That is a tough way to start this game for this offense, throwing an interception on their first drive. Big thing now is you go to the sideline, talk to the offensive coordinator, make a couple adjustments, and come back and play with confidence next time you get the ball. Watch the spin move. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Alabama comes up with the line quickly.
hell, bro? I oh, did it. <laughs> Back, looking to throw for it on third down. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. Physical running fights off the defender. <laughs> the return after the interception. Sets the offense up in good shape. Well, this isn't exactly how we envision this game getting started. You see, it's going to be one of those. Thinking, okay, great opportunity. Bang. They throw an interception right back. So everything is even, we can start all over, and the offense comes back out on the field. Back to pass. It's Riangala Light. Receiver makes the grab. Breaking free at the 35. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. Chris, all week they heard about how fast this guy is. The defensive coordinator told them they watched the film. They've seen this guy a lot, but I think the reality of seeing it now in person, I think it surprised us. They've got to make some adjustments Damn. to the defense. Woo. But this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day. Shit. The Seminoles are going to cash in this red zone trip. Trying to find some room. It's Toa Feely. It's a short game, but look at that defense swarm to the football. So here we go. Third down in the red zone. The kind of play that decides football games. One play called on third and short. Get in there, 2 4. Just short, but defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Alignment with just a certain breed, they're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person who's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs. It makes them block just a little bit harder, <coughs> knowing what he's potentially doing. Yeah, yeah. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Looking to score with a run to the right. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Nice job by this defense on that second down. So we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four down situation. They need it enough. And he's got it. Touchdown, Florida State. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. And the BAT is good. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be one of those. Uh -huh. You feel me? I'm locked in. <laughs> Fielded in the end zone. It's Prentice. That strong coverage, though, they tackle him at the 11 yard line. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. Finding some room with the 25. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. That ain't no fucking way. Inside the 10. <laughs> Touchdown. Shit. Tied. It was a foot race and he won it. Oh my, what a great play call here by the offensive coordinator. The running back received some great blocking up front and just took off with it. Carving up this defense all the way to the end zone. Damn. Damn. Not right through. The golf team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it inside the five yard line. Will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the first play of the drive now coming up from the 17 yard line. Pre snap motion from the receiver. Ball handed off. Time to get him again, guys. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. 
And they'll use the ground game here. That boy kicked me. That boy tried to. That boy just had. <laughs> it's on your ground. Ah, uh, he was getting oh, right. By the defensive pressure, and now it brings up third down. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Time for one more play here in the quarter. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Oh, Oh boy, um. on the final play of an exciting first quarter. And the Knowles will send the punt team onto the field. Running it back, it's Prentice. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. Last possession, a perfectly blocked running play. They scored in one play. Can they keep it going? Quarterback appears to be changing the play. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. On the move here, trying to hit a deep shot. What is going on? What is going on today? And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. He's like, that is. Your team makes it a seven point lead. That nigga. That nigga just ran it. Nobody on that thing. A chance to bring this one back. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. Come on, Fred. Don't give up on me. Strong job by the Come on, team. man. Offense back out there trying to get something going. We still got an old game to play. Come on, baby. Let's see. Oh, here comes the reverse. Damn. Way behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose seven yards. Well, the back set rules for a defense against the run are to check for the cutback, the counter, or reverse. By the time they stayed home and were in perfect position, they were able to stop that reverse in its trap. Contact as he threw it. Catch made down the left gotta side. Get, an explosive play. Just got to get that bitch out of there. As fast as I can. <laughs> got to get that bitch out of there. Fuck it. Pick up a first down. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? <laughs> Off the play fake, looking to throw. Running out of time. Ah. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Now it's second down here. <laughs> and you got to love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time they got to him and forced that incompletion. And they get him down after the completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. This nigga is. This nigga is. Swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. And the Seminoles will line up to punt it away. They're going to kick it away for the second time. And the returner will be brought down. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. Last possession, a one play lightning strike with the big touchdown pass. Can the defense make adjustments here? On first and ten here, we're going to throw the ball. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. There we go. But they can't make the connection. The ball's in. <laughs> Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seems to be off between the quarterback and the receiver. Man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, it's going to cost you. So second and ten after the previous play. Looks like the QB is changing the play at the line. Back to throw. It's Milrow. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. What the fuck? Way downfield for a huge game. 
He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Alabama. But got nine nine speed. The boy got nine. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> Bring it out. It's Holmes. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Yeah. Why didn't he get moved? <laughs> and the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Come on, two, Bo. Get his back up in there. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Takes the ball and heads to the left side. Get it. Come on, two, Bo. Get his back in here. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. Past the 20. Inside the 10. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown. No. What a touchdown. Anytime you see a ball for that many yards, everything has to come together. The offensive line did their job. The running back's vision and into speed. And the play caller setting up the yeah, yeah. And they get PD. Formation and play call. It all came together, and they get the big score. Fielded in the end zone. It's I see. You know what? That nigga be running for me this season. That nigga be. You see, yeah, you seen that uh that truck earlier? That nigga be bulldozing niggas. <laughs> God damn. They'll tackle him at the 17 yard line. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Grab behind the line. It's Smith. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. How about the discipline of this defense here on second down? You're anticipating a pass. They've got pretty much everybody covered. And then once the back has the ball, how about the speed to be able to bring him down? Now it's third down. Look at a scramble. This nigga is. These niggas eh? tonight, today. And I think the quarterback here forces the ball because it's third down. He's got to be careful having the ball on his own side of the field. That ball was almost picked off. No kick it away here. Yeah, he could have ran that deep. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? One back in the back. Come on, two foul. Get some space around the 30. Tell, uh, tell your old squad how you come. Touchdown, Seminoles. <laughs> This college football playoff game is all tied up, and Kirk, it's beginning to feel a little bit like a shootout. Yeah, it is. It's a battle of the offenses. Both these teams right now executing flawlessly, and they're doing so with such high stakes, answering one score with another. Neither team is backing up one inch. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. So they begin the drive here in the final three minutes of the half. To the air, it's Milrow. Looks to the left for a quick throw. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Here's the second down play. They'll change the pre-snap look now. Quarterback wants to throw it on second. There we go. Oh, that one's picked off. Going the other way, can they stop him? Touchdown, Florida State. And the defense adds six in the interception return. You know, we talked to him during the week, and he told me he was a high school corner. And I can see why. He's got tremendous ball skill to make that play and then to be able to take it all the way back for a touchdown. He's outstanding. And he knocks through the PAT. The kickoff team on the field now as he gets set to send this one away. Bring it out. It's Prentice. Back him up. The 13, not great field position to start the drive. For 
first down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Let's it go quickly. Our third pick tonight by the QB. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. They punch it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make he... some adjustments to get a stop? This nigga! The pass is incomplete just across Stop the that motherfucker. Oh my gosh. What a miscue here by the offense. After all the preparation and all the practice time, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they yeah. had. Yeah. 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 The end zone. It's a big time drop. Oh, and he doesn't hang on off the deflection there. He's naked. He's going to bring yeah. up a third hey. down play. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can he keep the drive going or will they have to set up Oh, three? shit. Tackled way behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose seven yards. I ain't never seen no shit like that. They back my own line in there. Keeping their own territory inside the red zone, but they get penetration to come up with a loss there. Nah, it's too far. Google try. No good. After the miss, it's still a seven-point lead. Man, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. Ooh, I thought he had a hole. Five, so it's second and five now. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. Quarterback checks the defensive look, makes some adjustments. To throw, it's Milrow. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Tackles made, but not before he makes the 43 yard line. This drive is going now. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 now. They're going to run it here. Right through a tackle. Because I just love to see this offensive line in this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards in the first half. So, really good job of establishing the run game. Opens up the play action. Opens up one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just keep winning the battle up front. First down of 10. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Here's a screen pass to the running back. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move his sticks more than enough for a first down. First and ten play coming up. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Alabama now operating in the red zone. And the wideout goes in motion. And it looks like the quarterback's going to run it. The pickup is seven yards, now it's second and three. Offense right to the line, cranking up the tempo. Going to run it. Busy. Is he them up? Losing three yards there. Come on, cause we right up. Strategy time for just one or two plays here before halftime. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. There we go, fellas. In the right flat. Timeout is called a tough strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. So with only a few seconds left in the half, the field goal unit comes out of the field. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this ship shot. And the field goal is mm. good. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Damn. The Knowles will kick this deep to begin the second half. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. Breaks loose at the 40. 
Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. One play moves the ball over 34. It'll be first down. Dropping back, it's Milro. There we, there we go. There we go. There we go. Going the other way, can they catch him? Touchdown, no. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. An interception taken to the house, a pick six potentially. Great to my boy. Nothing gets a defense, and especially a defensive coordinator, more fired up than a pick six. And let's not forget, give credit to some of those other defenders for making some key blocks to spring that touchdown loose. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. That one sails out of the back of the end zone at the touchback. First down here for this offense. Quarterback making some changes at the line. First play of the drive to come out throwing. Defense is coming after him. Let's go! Interception number five as the nightmare performance continues. He's got some open field ahead. Steps out after a crucial takeaway. This could be a big turning point. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. Let's get enough. Grab down the middle. It's Brown. Bring him down short of the goal line, but it's first and goal from the two. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays, but the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse. Get out the way, Sandy Five. Get out the way. Still no answer for this offense. That's another touchdown for this running back. They can't stop him. Dream performance in this playoff game. Yeah, this is going to be a performance we're going to be talking about for a long time. I just love watching because he's doing it in so many different ways. We've seen speed. We've seen his physicality. He's breaking <laughs> tackles. Boy, just an absolute dream scenario, as you said. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fielded in the end zone. It's Prentice. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Back onto the field. See if this quarterback can bounce back. The last possession, a pick from the very first play. The pocket breaking down. The pressure and getting the loss back to the seven yard line. That's what Miami was saying, eh, nigga? Quarterback adjusting now to the defense. Back to pass. It's Milro. Get him, Seven. Trapped and sacked in the pocket. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. He's escaping the pocket. I, I see that she coming. God damn. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for him. Why, why you start running? Man, this quarterback can play the game. He can throw, and so as we see here, he can run the football. The I'm thinking that's tough, man. They need to with the pressure. They look like they're in good position yeah. to be able to come up with a nice play on him. But instead, he shows how he can slip out of the back door of this defense and pick up a nice game. Caught over the middle. It's Law. Brought down the crosses midfield to the 46. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. A nice throw and a great catch by another Alabama wide receiver. And that's really where we are. Anymore with Alabama, you just come to expect great receivers like this. You think back in recent years to Amari Cooper and Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith, the list goes on and on. Boy, they've got some great looking receivers on this squad. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 coming up. And he drops back in the gun. Yeah, wide open. I'm in mean, the middle. Wide right, the fuck open. <laughs> They tackle him at the three, but that's a great gain in the pitch and catch. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. And someone on the line Damn. there moved a bit early. Offense gets a five-yard penalty. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Ready up. 
So two big plays in a row. The defense is reeling here. Now it's first and goal. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. To throw, it's Milrow. Pass caught. Can he get in? Let me go down to that. Tackled after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. Second and goal for the offense. Some confusion on the <laughs> With the play. <laughs> And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. That's a second in goal play for the offense. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Oh, see. Pass is incomplete. The defense affecting the quarterback with pressure there. And the offense facing a third in goal from a long way away. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. He's running out of time here. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. But that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game, and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And the field goal is good. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. <laughs> but, 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 uh, but a chill. E and now the kickoff team will boot it away. He'll return it from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. They'll bring him down right at the 30 yard line. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris and his but, but roll me all the way to the first down, damn. <laughs> his running back to football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Quick pass. Here comes a jet. Yeah, He'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over him that time. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. Mm. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. The Seminoles will line up to boot it away. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. Is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to set up for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? He's going to take off. Just trucks the man. Damn. The defense will wrap him up, but he's able to scramble for a first down. All right, folks. going. These are the kind of plays that keep defensive coordinators up at night. You spend so much time putting your plan together to stop the pass, and then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. They bring it down <laughs> just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard. Oh, another nigga's fair. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Just ran away from the defense. The spot in the natty at stake. This defense is being shredded. Kirk, what can we do differently to stop this guy? Man, I don't know. I mean, I would just keep trying to come up with double coverage or blitzing something to try to slow down not just the receiver, but kind of pressure the quarterback. But right now, the receiver is just in a zone. Sometimes you get into that spot, and it's so hard to get you out of it. I don't know if I were this quarterback, to keep throwing him the rock. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. And they put something together in this drive. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. Second down after that run on the previous play. Last 
trying to find room. It's Williams. We begin the quarter with a crucial play. Offense setting up for this third down. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look. And they'll make an adjustment before this important play. So a very makeable third down for the offense from the 29. It's a draw play. The defense all yeah. over. They stop him right at the line. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. And the Knowles will line up to kick it away. Back out to punt for the fourth time today. And here's the fair catch by the return man. the Alabama offense onto the field. Quarterback making adjustments down to what the defense is showing. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick spin on the run. Defense surrounds it. Just a short gain on that completion. I just love to see positive yards here on this opening play of this drive because it can get you into a rhythm. Let's face it, you're down by eight. You need yards, you need rhythm. Field goals are not going to help you. They need a touchdown and that two-point conversion. Damn. Junior trying to take a shot, but overthrows his man. Woo. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks instead. We've now got fourth down. Needs a completion here on fourth down. I knew it. Let's get it. Complete a crucial misfire here late in the game. And the ball will turn over on downs. Well, I think they're going to end up regretting going for this one, Chris. I wouldn't have gone for it. What's wrong with punting it away? And again, I get being Ooh. aggressive, but you got to be smart on when to go for it and when to punt. Looking to pass. It's Riangala Lake. Fires it to the wideout. And it's I, yeah, I don't want to win. Crushing play. Can he take it all the way? Inside the 40. Inside the 20. Yeah, I don't want to win. Well, <laughs> that tip toe shit. Because they got to go. <laughs> they move the ball into good position, but now it's third and long. Linebackers moving around trying to confuse the offense. Receivers now getting some new assignments before the snap. And he'll drop back here on third down. Damn. I thought oh, he got that out. The receiver just not right on the same page here on that third down and long. But at this point in the game, you got to consider going for this. They need a touchdown. Met kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Bringing it out. It's Holmes. Solid coverage there. They get it at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. 
Let's see how this quarterback responds. Remember, an interception on the very first play of the last possession. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. In the clear at the 25. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. After the first play, they're very close to midfield already. 90, 90, On the run, it's Toa Feely. Nani, able to make the stop that. after a short game. Positive yards are always important for an offense, but at this stage of the game, late in the ball game, playing with the lead, you're thinking about working that clock and continuing to keep the ball in bounds. Quick throw, that's an RPO caught on the left side. Let's go. Tackle made after a big game. That play call here, Chris. I mean, I'm thinking they're going to run the football and continue to run. Yeah, yeah, that bubble. And let's take bubble. You have an idea how much confidence they have in their passing game in this quarterback, being able to throw the football with the lead in the fourth quarter, completion, and you're able to keep that clock moving. We're going to bring him down after. Ah, not my boy. Not my boy, Roddy. Ah, get on, baby. So we'll take a timeout. Come on, not my boy. I did. So I ran the nigga to the dirt. Fuck you, Randy. I need that nigga. Too, Dropping back to the Angola light. You better catch it, you whole ass nigga. Oh, and he misfires just beyond the receiver's grasp. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Coming back. <laughs> One of the biggest plays we've had so far. So as they got it, it's time. It's time to play. Back. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see it. Six. The defense will wrap him up after a seven yard gain and it'll bring up fourth down. Heck of a job here by the defense on this third down to keep him short of the first down. Now it's fourth down and an interesting decision for this offense with the lead. Do they punt the ball away or do they go for it? So the clock stops as we have <laughs> two minutes of play here. This team is needing to step up right, and make tight. the play now. Leading here in the fourth quarter to keep the offense on the field, trying to stretch the lead and keep possession. Looking to throw for the first down. Well, I should have just ran it in there. I should have just ran it in there. We see this late in the fourth quarter. You know the pass rush is going to be there. They're getting after him. They're getting upfield. They get a great push, but what do they create? Space and lanes, and he takes off. And hey, picks jumping over, the nigga. Down. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, this is situational football. This is really where the great coaches separate themselves because in these kind of situations, this is where you want to be able to score and kill the clock. Some teams do it better than others, and that's primarily coaching. There we and go. Execution. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go. Like their odds in closing this game out. That pressure got to them. Let's see uprights. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. Yards and getting out of bounds. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. He's hit as he throws it. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Getting set. Here's second down. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Ah, oh, shit, he was out there too. Brings up third down. 
Well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's wide open. You need points. You're behind. You gotta take some shots. I'd go right back to it. Try to find a matchup and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Look at this. He'll go deep again, but they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Hey, hey, hey. To end the drive, what a play by this defense. That's really good coverage downfield, and it just looked like the quarterback was waiting and waiting and waiting a little bit too long. By the time he decides to try to make a throw, nothing's open, and the result is a sack and a turnover on downs. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Second down play coming up for this offense. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. Powering through. That boy too full something different. This offense really threatening now. You know, sometimes, Chris, we get caught up in the speed and the quickness, and obviously those are important assets to have as a running back. But what you just saw from this guy, and he's had a pretty good day, is his ability to break tackles in the open space. And he gets through those arm tackles. You can see what he's capable of doing after being able to shake foot. And it's intercepted. It's trying to be cute. And that's a solid return after the interception. That's the last thing that you could afford to do. Working with the lead in the fourth quarter, I thought it'd be easy throws, high percentage throws, <laughs> run the football, keep that clock moving. Now you've given your opponent a... Here's a shot toward the right sideline. Catch made way downfield. That's going to help the Saints a little bit. It won't make a difference in the outcome. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown tied. This offense has done what's been asked of them. They get the touchdown. Now it comes down to can you recover the onside kick to give yourself a shot? Looking to throw. It's Milro. And it's caught in the end zone for a two point conversion to cut into this lead. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. Shit. It looks like the hands team were able to recover the football. Yeah, brother. <laughs> so the job is got to go and get up. Go and get up out of here with the W. <laughs> the celebration. <laughs> Good game, though, family. <laughs> That's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship. That says everything mm -hmm. about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically. And they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler. And this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.